Hey everybody, how you doing? This video is my five hot takes on D&D 5th edition. I've played just about every edition. Ah, uh, with the exception of 4th edition. <laughs> I never got around to playing that. But, uh, oh, maybe I did actually. I don't know. I think I've played just about all of them at any rate. I play a lot of OSR versions of the game too. And I've played, I've played... D&D 5e a bunch. And, uh, and I can't, you know, I, the system was okay. I didn't mind it. But, you know, I, it wasn't, it's not my favorite system. Well, I'll say that for sure. But uh, anyway, five hot takes. Hot takes are supposed to be controversial, so here they go. If you disagree with me, just leave a comment you know, explain to me why I'm wrong. <laughs> I love reading those. <laughs> why, 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 why my opinion's wrong? It's great. Okay, so the very first hot take that I have on 5th edition D&D &D is how polished it is. Now, you gotta remember, I started playing D&D &D in the late 70s when I was just a kid. And I started playing with the white box when that system was out. I didn't actually even see the rules, but that was the one that they were using. And uh, I played with a huge group. Oh, there must have been like 12 people. No, more than 12, but 15 people at the table. I still remember it quite well. And, uh, you know, everybody, you had to house rule. Lots of stuff. You had to, you had to, you know, you, you had a role to play as a DM in the game. And, uh, and I, I really, uh, I really miss that in this fifth edition. It feels like everything is kind of filled out. You don't, I don't see like like with the with the older editions, in particular, you know, first edition and and uh, uh, AD and D and and the basic editions and stuff. You could really see where you could contribute. You could really see where you needed to add stuff to it. In this game, it's a little bit more daunting than that. It feels. It feels really, really polished, like, like taking scissors to it and chopping up the rules and stuff. I know it's encouraged, and I know lots of people do it, but these are my hot takes, <laughs> and that's how it makes me feel. It feels intimidating, you know? It just does. All right, so that's my first hot take. My second hot take is that it's just too balanced. I mean, it's hard to die. And I've had people, they play in my OSR game, they come from 5th edition, and they just do the most crazy things. Because they just expect that every encounter is sort of slanted in their favor. Which in an OSR game, trust me, it's not. And there are times when you better bloody run, because you're going to die. But in 5th edition, I, I don't even know if you can die. Leave a comment down below if you've ever died. I'd be fascinated to know, you know, the details and like, how did you die? Because don't you don't you have to fail a saving throw like one out of twenty or thirty different saving throws in order to actually die? Now that being said, I don't generally kill players in my games unless the situation is sort of a for sure kill. Uh, I tend to prefer that the characters get knocked unconscious; they somehow recover later, carry on. Depends on the game, though. Some games it's just fun to have total hack and slash, and players come and go. That's certainly the way we used to play. But in this game, it just feels like there's never, ever a task that's too much. You can always take everything on. So that's that's my second hot take. Uh, my third hot take is this is a great superheroes game. I really like it. <laughs> I've played Marvel superheroes. I've played Champions. I've played a few superhero games. This is really good. That's what they always feel like when I roll up a 5th edition first level character. I was like, wow, this is great. This is a superhero the, the powers and abilities that they have even at first level. Oh, they're off the hook. It's great. I mean, my preference is, again, not to have characters that are just super... Look at this. Bo proficiency bonuses. Just... That's just amazing. And the features. I mean, you're it's a superhero. When, when you compare... When you care to the, compare to basic, or you compare to the old... D and D games. It's just, it's just amazing. And how do you give, how do you give magic items to somebody that's this powerful already? I don't understand. I mean, back, back when, when I played, uh, uh, 
uh, first edition D&D when it was, you were made, you, what made distinguish you were the magic items that you managed to, to find and keep. Not your abilities that were just granted to you by the rule book. <laughs> Anyway, so there it is. Oh, I know I'm pissing some of you off right now. I can I can feel the nasty comments coming. All right, my next hot take on it is the price. You've got to be kidding me. $58 I paid for this. <laughs> 58 bucks. Are you kidding me? Okay, now a lot of my uh, games that I like to play are actually uh, free. So I like to play Swords and Wizardry. I like to play Osric. I like to play White Box. You know, I, I, they're free. Free. See? 58 versus free. And with those games, there's lots of room for me to add things. And I love I love drawing. As some of you know, I love drawing. I love making maps. I love making mosses, creatures, making adventures, all that kind of thing. And I don't want it to look like 5th edition. I want it to look like the old school stuff. 5th edition is... Uh... Okay, so this moves. This goes on to my 5th uh, hot take on 5th edition. As you'll notice, the art is amazing, right? Ah, look at it. That's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, well, this, this maybe doesn't... But look at that. I have... You know why everybody... Today, all the rule books, everybody looks like a Picasso, is because of photo bashing. It's Photoshop. I uh, I can't stand it. It really drives me nuts. I love the old school art where people actually had to put pen on paper and actually had to draw. They didn't use a computer and go out and Google an image and then use a filter to fake paintbrush strokes and then it's just amazing. And, and it's no wonder artificial intelligence is about to replace all these people because I'm not dissing the art. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's a hot take. My preference is pen on paper kind of art, the old school art. There's nothing wrong with this. It's beautiful. Don't take it that way. I'm not saying that. These are very talented people. I'm not saying that. I'm saying my hot take, my personal preference is pen on paper, the old school drawing that's my preference and you know ai is coming after this ai does a better job there was an art contest just won by an ai that uh that that won the art contest because it did a better job <laughs> that's pretty freaky so it's coming i don't know what the uh i don't know what the future is for for this kind of art but anyway, that's my fifth hot take, is just photo bashing. Not a big fan. All right, well, I hope that you're not uh, too hot under the collar over this, my personal opinions. <laughs> it's a great exercise, though. People need to voice their opinions more often, even if they're not popular. Who cares? You're allowed to think whatever you want. So this is uh, this is my five hot takes on D&D 5th Edition. I hope... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and a, and subscribe and uh, and hit the bell icon if you want to get notices when I make new videos. And thanks for watching. And uh, leave a nasty comment down below if you disagree with me. Well, I'm not too nasty now. Uh, if it's too nasty, YouTube won't allow it. So, <laughs> but you can you can leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.